hello and welcome back to my channel i am who am i Gigi of GigiMadeIt.com. you know the knitter the blogger and the yarn hoe coming to you on day whatever day it is of this virus today is sunday april 5th and it's also my grandmother's birthday. She would have been 99 today, guys. And I miss that lady. I miss that lady. So, uh, today, what are we going to talk about today? I got mail. I got, <laughs> I got mail. I have, um, I'll update you on the cow. And... Again, let's just talk, right, about this state of the world right now. Who would, did you ever imagine? I know I didn't. Y'all ready? Excuse me. I got... I got... I got... I got <laughs> mail. I got mail. Come on in here because I got mail. You know you want to see my mail because I got, I got, I got mail. I got mail. We need Shelby. <laughs> mail. <laughs> mail. Okay, so um, I have received some prizes for the cow guys my rivalry group is over a thousand people <laughs> be still my heart so let's just talk about mail a couple things i think i got this before last week it just got buried so i apologize i felt bad the young lady asked me in my live the other day did i get it jody beth is her name i love somebody that pays attention she sent me a stash tea bag. This is macaroon mint. Never had that. I think I'll put that in some lemonade and try that today. Um, there's a card, of course. Uh, let's see. Um, dearest Gigi, here are the stitch markers I made that said they needed to be yours while I was making them. I was thinking Halloween, you know, black and orange. But then once I held the first one up to look at it and saw the black ring above the orange, I thought of your new glasses with your orange cow. After that, I knew I couldn't post them for sale. I have just started my Etsy shop. Crawfoot Knits, I think they said, and it's more than I thought it would be. I have had lots of things try to stop me, but I can do this and be happy on purpose. You sure can. I hope you like them. Jody Beth. Crawfoot Knits. Thank you, Jody Beth. Again, I apologize that you had to uh, double check and see if I had them. Oh, wait, there's another tea bag, guys. Sweet, sweet honeydew. They're both by Stash. I'm going to give them a try. There's some stickers, fall themed stickers, pumpkin, acorn. What's this? I don't know what that one is. It's cut off. And here are the actual stitch markers. Oh, they're the teeny tiny ones. Can you guys see? I'm sorry. The camera's focusing on me. They're little rings. So I'm thinking a US 5 or a US is focusing on me. <laughs> nah. But at any rate, they're cute. They're little rings with little orange dots on them so like right now i'm using a us7 and i'm thinking they would fit let's try that hold oh, please guys let's see let's see let's see so right now i'm using my signature needles yeah and they're us7 so yeah it would fit so I would say anything in US 7 and down, these would work for 
and that's the perfect little gg orange so thank you jody beth appreciate it again sorry that you had to ask i i can I'm, I'm sure you understand that life is just crazy right now so that was from jody beth and then i don't remember where the card is for this but this comes from ravenswood fiber the colorway is called ember however this was a gift from somebody else it didn't come from she bought it from them and i can't remember her name i don't have the card i'm sorry sweetheart i i gave her props on my story on instagram so she knows that i have it and she knows that i saw it and she knows that i love it so that's ember from ravenswood and i believe if i remember correctly yeah these this company is from canada so that was also a gift then quite a few of you asked me about my yarn when it was on the um the spindle and you were like Gigi, what is that thing your yarn is on well as i have said in past that comes from Wonderful, and they were gracious enough to send me a kit with the adapter because I just had my the yarn was Laura from uh, Jimmy Bean's wool had my yarn wound onto this so I had this with my yarn but I didn't have the whole attachment so how this works is if you have a drill or in my case a power um, screwdriver you put this on it you have your yarn on your swift you put this on here and then I don't have the adapter so this is not going to turn on right now I need to buy a power adapter but you would turn this on and it will spin your yarn off of your swift onto here why I love it, guys, is because I know we've all experienced yarn barfs, right? When you have a center pull ball, you pull it out and you the yarn throws up on you and you got to untangle all that. That'll never happen with this. So again, this is called the Winderful. And if you are participating in the GG Orange Cow, Orange Love Cow, chances are you could win... A set now this set has let me just put it back together so you guys can see it this set has four of those and the the uh, adapter that you need and this will be a one of the prizes in the cow thank you wonderful so that was that um, you guys, I've talked about Shelly Can a million times over. You guys know I love Shelly Can. I love everything that she does. Well, she has some new pens. You also guys know that I love Shay Johnson of Knit and Crochet. So, can you guys see the pen? That's her. Her pen. Is that not the cutest? Is that not the cutest? I love it. So Shelby bought that for me. She bought, actually she got two, one for her and one for me. We call Shay Cousin Shay. Um, so we had the support. And again, you just got to love Shelly Can. She is a genius. So the other thing that I got in the mail was from the lovely, lovely, lovely grocery girl. They were kind enough. I'm trying to excuse the crinkle as much as I can to send a gift. And it has the um, Lola Bean Yarn Co. Uh, signature colorway bag. You have a notebook. You have their scissors. You have two of their pens. So I have three, two sets of these with a bag in it. And then I have, sorry for the Christmas guys. They also sent another kit that has their exclusive kit the colorway set, a notebook, and a little tumbler with their logo on it. So, Tracy and Jody. So, having said that, you got time. We are just on three weeks of a six-week long cow. You can still join. 
you can still buy the poncho pattern, still make your poncho in whatever color you choose. Although, orange, no, I'm only kidding. It doesn't have to be orange, whatever color you choose. And you still have time. You absolutely still have time. So, 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 so. Um, so, yeah, that's mail. Before I get into the update of the shrug, I want to talk about a couple of episodes back. I said, um, don't be too proud to beg, right? And I said, if you needed help with something, you need to tell somebody because that's somebody in this case being me. I don't know if I can help if I don't know if you need that you need help. Does that make sense? Well, in that case, I'm going to be looking down so I can read this. Hugs through shrugs reached out to me and it says... Send a hug through a shrug to a mom who can really use it today. Um, so it says, help us find families and friends of pediatric cancer patients so we can support their very brave moms. It says, as a mom, what could be worse than taking your child back and forth to the hospital for cancer treatment or in today's world, taking your child into a hospital, period, during the COVID-19 pandemic? So from what I understand is they provide shrugs to moms of cancer patients right so she reached out to me because you know I have the Bible shrug right so she was wondering if there was anyone out there because we have all this time that wanted to make a Bible shrug to donate to this cause so I will leave all the information in the down bar um, I have a Bible shrug that I was willing to donate but she really said she wanted me to talk to you guys so I'm reaching out to you guys if pause I'm gonna pause for a minute the Bible Shrug is probably one of the quickest things that you can make. Uh, from what I understand from her, it is the right dimensions of what it is that they um, are looking for. So if you have some extra super bulky yarn laying around, you don't need much. The Bible Shrug is there. And if you've made it already, you already have the pattern. If not, you can grab the pattern and you can make a Bible Shrug to donate if you see fit. I will leave all the information in the down bar and you guys can decide if you want to participate or not. So, bravo to her. She asked for help. I'm helping the best way that I know how and I hope that she gets what she needs to continue to help those moms in need. So, Cal. Okay, so we, as I just said, we are this is officially the third week today, actually, is the third week that the cow's been going on. Now, I know I said last week that by today I would be finished, and, you yeah, know, not so much. Life. We're going to talk about that in a minute. But, um, I am, I have this much left on the third skein. So, I should be finished really soon. And, again, this is one time where I can honestly say that I'm not rushing, um, I'm appreciating being in the midst of it while others are in the midst of it. So it really keeps me fresh with as far as the pattern is concerned so that I can assist them if need be. So that's coming along. I just haven't had as much time as I would like to um, sit down and work on it. Because you guys know that I go live every night, Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. on my Instagram account the first hour is on my account and the second hour is on Adela's account but we do that every night because we need a distraction we need to be distracted from what we call life right now so here is where I am so I am let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven I'm getting ready to start my twelfth repeat so I'm just about there. And like I said, it calls for four skeins. And this is what I have left of the fourth skein. So I'm almost ready. I'm almost there. But not for nothing. Not all of the sponsors are sending the gifts to me. Thank God. Because my heart would break if Gunner got to something and tore it up. So um, most of the sponsors... I'm going to tell them who the winner is and they're going to mail it directly. But just if you saw the little clip that I put up um, in my stories here on YouTube, just to kind of let you see some of the things that's coming. It's just amazing. So that's the update on the cow. And again, 
it's not too late. You can still grab the pattern. You can still join us. I've just had a couple people just started the other day. And again, we got nothing but time right now, right? So see you in the Ravelry group if you decide to join. Okay. So let's talk COVID. Let's talk staying at home. Let's talk shelter in place. Let's talk just this pandemic. So what I want to say about this is I mentioned that we go live every night on um, Monday through Friday. And on Thursday night, um, if you're not on Instagram or you don't follow me on Instagram, um, you may have missed that. The first hour of our live, Lewis of Brooklyn Boy Knit joined us and told his story. And Lewis is currently battling this virus. And he wanted to drive home the importance of staying home. He wanted to drive home the importance of even if you don't feel sick, you could possibly be, my words, a walking time bomb, right? So stuff like this seems far-fetched until it hits home. Stuff like this seems like, eh, that's them over there. That's that city. That's that state. That's that community, right? Even if it's in your state and it's not in your city, you don't feel like it's impacting you because when you go in your grocery store, you can still get what you want to get and your state is not requiring you shelter in place or your state doesn't have a curfew. So, eh, I'm getting on the plane and I'm going wherever. Eh, I'm going over my friend's house because I'm fine. She's fine. No, guys, no. I can tell you from personal experience, nothing Nothing is more powerful than experiencing something y yourself. And I can tell you that my heart is broken from Lewis. Where I'm understanding now that Cece and her husband have both been sick. There's just quite a few people. If you even look through the comments, whether here or on Facebook, somebody knows somebody that knows somebody that has it, right? And again, that still makes it seem... Like it's a movie, like it's something that's happening to somebody else. You might know about it, but it's not impacting you until it knocks on your door, right? Until it turns that doorknob because you didn't lock your door. Until it walks into your house and wrecks havoc on your family because you didn't lock that door. And locking that door means stay home. Locking that door means if you do have to go out, stay away from people and only go to do the things that you have to do. Because it's not real until they come in your house. Right? It's not real until your loved one is in a hospital and you can't go see them. It's not real until somebody in your family is on their deathbed and you cannot go and help them. You cannot go and comfort them. Are you guys hearing me? If you are that person that thought, you know, this is conspiracy theory, it's an election year, they're just doing this because blah, blah, and the blah. Right? Is the percentage of people dying less than the percentage of people that are recovering? It is. But it still is killing people. And people are still getting sick. It does not matter what age they are either. So please get that out of your head. Yes, the majority of it, the, the larger percent are elders. But who wants to lose their elders before it's time? That doesn't make it right either. So please, please stay home if you are not essential and you don't have to go out there if you just have to go out and take a walk do that stay away from people come back in your house i will I, I i refuse okay sorry as i was saying it i don't even know what i was saying the bottom line is stay home period point and blank stay home it doesn't matter what you believe is true just stay home and if you can't stay home for yourself stay home for your loved ones we all want our family to be safe. So think about that. Stay home for your family. I, I don't, I'm not going to harp on it. I just, oh, I know what I was going to say. Washing hands. I'm not going to say, talk about the washing the hands part. That should be, that should have been common sense. Everybody should, well, I don't understand. The way I was raised, you couldn't breathe if you didn't wash your hands. My mother just, wash your hands. Every other word, did you wash your hands? Don't, get out of my refrigerator. Did you wash your hands? Don't touch that. Did you wash your hands? Get out of my room. Did you wash your hands? Don't come in here with your outside clothes on. Did you wash your hands? I mean, I don't understand 
why we have to tell people to wash your hands. But be safe. Stay home. Because you don't want the pain of getting a call that says your loved one is fighting and losing. And there's nothing you can do about it but sit home and pray. So what you can do about it, stay home. Be safe. Wash your damn hands. Do people really have to be told that? <clears throat> I love you guys. I promise I do. I'll see you next week. Please be safe. Please wash your hands. Hang in there. And let me know in the comments, what are you doing to keep busy? To, to stop yourself from going bonkers. What are you doing? What have you learned new? Talk to me in the comments. See you guys next week.